Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 4137, the College Opportunity and Affordability Act. This legislation will complete our work on the reauthorization of the Higher Education Act and build on the historic investment we made last year in the College Cost Reduction and Access Act. We opened the 110th Congress taking a fresh look at our higher education laws. Specifically, we called for ideas to close the College Act and completion gaps for low-income and minority students, to improve the financial aid application and delivery system, to improve preparation so that low-income and first-generation college students are ready to succeed in college academically, financially, and socially, leverage more resources for need-based aid, and yes, to address the escalating cost of a college education. This bill offers comprehensive, bipartisan solutions to all of these issues. I would like to thank Chairman Miller and the ranking members of the full committee and the subcommittee, especially to my good friend Congressman McKeon of California and Congressman Keller of Florida for working with us to craft a bill that every member of this chamber should be proud to support. Mr. Speaker, we must be strong and determined to pass H.R. 4137 because we are falling behind in producing college graduates. During our hearings, we learned that the United States has gone from first to fourth place in the world for college graduates in the workplace. We are only one of two industrialized nations where older workers are more likely to have a college degree than younger workers. This comes at a time when the Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a shortage of three million college-educated workers as early as the year 2012. The gaps in college access and completion is large and growing for low-income and minority students because of the high cost of a college education. According to the Education Trust, since 1994, white students have increased in college completion by 10 percent. African-American students have only increased by 5.5 percent, and the Hispanic students only by 3 percent. Given that over 40 percent of our public school children are racial or ethnic minorities, and one in five is Hispanic, it is imperative that we act swiftly and decisively to close the gaps. Mr. Speaker, this is what the College Opportunity and Affordability Act will do. H.R. 4137 will close the college access and completion gaps by increasing the authorized Pell Grant maximum to $9,000 and providing access to the Pell Grant and the academic competitiveness and smart grants the year round. The legislation recognizes the critical role that minority serving institutions will have to play if we are to produce the college graduates our economy needs to thrive. These institutions represent less than one third of all of the colleges and universities in our country, but they enroll more than half of all minority students in post secondary education. H.R. 4137 authorizes increased investments in building the capacity of these essential institutions and ensures that they are full partners in teacher preparation and our national competitiveness and innovation agenda. Additionally, H.R. 4137 includes the minority serving institution digital and wireless technology opportunity program, which is a major step forward in ensuring that these colleges and universities can maintain a state-of-the-art educational delivery system. I am particularly proud of our whole committee's work to strengthen minority access to the STEM fields through the youth engagement in STEM partnerships and programs that focus on preparing teachers for these high-need fields. 
The College Opportunity and Affordability Act also addresses gaps at the post-baccalaureate level. It has been exactly 10 years since I introduced legislation to create a graduate program for Hispanic-serving institutions, and with the passage of this long-awaited legislation, we will be one step closer to enacting this long-overdue program. Additionally, our bill includes the Patsy Mink Fellowship Program to provide support for women and minorities to complete graduate degrees and join the ranks of university faculty where they are severely underrepresented. H.R. 4137 will improve early college preparation by strengthening programs that are very important to fill the pipeline, such as Gear Up, the TRIO program, the HEP, and the CAMP programs, and emphasizing financial literacy and early financial aid estimates. I'm a strong believer of reading and writing literacy, and that's why I am so in favor of programs such as the Reading is Fundamental, which is going to help us in graduating more students from high schools. This bill will leverage resources through great partnerships. One example is the new Grants for Access and Persistence program, which will leverage state and private resources to increase student aid so that low-income, first-generation college students are prepared to enroll and succeed in college. This bill takes real steps to address college costs through public information, accountability, and incentives at the state and institutional level to keep tuition increases low and college within reach of all students. Legislation H.R. 4137 protects students and families by bringing sunshine and real consumer protection to the student loan programs, both at the federal and the private level. Finally, the legislation before us today recognizes our collective obligation to the men and women returning from war and seeking to resume their lives. Our nation owes all our veterans the support to achieve their dreams through a college education after so valiantly serving our country. H.R. 4137 establishes a new scholarship program for veterans and their families. It ensures fairness for veterans in student aid. It also authorizes centers of excellence for veteran student success to provide a one-stop support system on college campus to help veterans succeed in college and to graduate. Mr. Speaker, this legislation is ambitious and thorough because that is what these times demand. I encourage all my colleagues in Congress to vote yes on H.R. 4137. Let's get this job done. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.